Hey everybody, we're going to be doing a flip today using a large water bottle and a small water bottle. Don't forget your tacks. I like putting mine right in the seam. It's easier to get them in and it doesn't split your frame. As you can see, I'm a little messy. I've been doing a couple of pours today. My mix is one part acrylic, two parts blow chaw, and 30% water. Set your small one in the middle. Try to get your bumps to line up with your other. You want them all going the same way where, where your petals stay the same as they go around. I'm going to be using pink, blue, white, and purple. Run a stitch. I cut the tip off of my stirs to give me a square end. Gives me a better point. See how good the petals match up? If you line your cup up right, it makes a big difference. I use a dry paper towel. Wet paper towels water your paint down and makes it run together too much. I like my colors to stay separate as much as possible. I'm going to get the air bubbles out. Lightly press your paper towel down. You don't want to mash your colors into each other. Let it sit a second. The purple shows up more because the purple's wetter than my other colors. That wasn't intentional, that's just the way it is. It doesn't seem to bother my pores or anything, so I haven't messed with it. That is very pretty. I love them colors. Get my air bubbles again. I use a bent straw to angle your blow. This is very pretty. You, you got a lot of paint built up in the middle to where your towel pulls into the center. And when you lift up, it draws all that paint to the middle. I get rid of that paint. And in the process, it'll pull these colors in and just make your design look a lot better. Also, your paint won't crack when it dries because there is a lot of paint in the middle. Be sure to get the drips off the bottom. Okay, very pretty. Later you can do a real detailed middle 